Alright, I'm on my way to the train station now. Uh, it's about 8 in the morning. Gonna just go there. I'm not gonna eat anything for now. I'll probably just eat at the airport. And uh, then I'll be flying to Morocco today. Pretty excited. I wanna look up if they've got any like camel rides because I wanna go <laughs> ride a camel. That would be cool. <laughs> so, uh, but we'll, we'll see what I do. I'm gonna be there for a few days. So. Okay, so I just went through security and passport checks and all that and now I'm on my way to my gate. I just got a few things for um, my time on Morocco, some reservations. Um, today I'm kind of just going to go around the city, but uh, tomorrow I'm going <laughs> to go quad, bi quad biking, quad riding bike, whatever, in the desert. And then um, I'm also gonna go camel riding. <laughs> this would be so cool. So, um, yeah, I've got those things set for tomorrow. And um, today, today's just the city, but, uh, and then um, I don't know what I'm gonna do for Wednesday, but I'm gonna figure that out while I'm there. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, so I'm now boarding the plane to Morocco. Um, Pretty short flight. I'm right near there right now, so I should be fine. Um, it's gonna be really hot these next few days, apparently. It's supposed to be 78 degree weather today, 81 tomorrow, and 80 the next day, so I got some summer weather and I've got <laughs> sweat clothes on right now, so I'll have to find a place for those in my hostel. <laughs> I'm excited though, I've been looking forward to the warm weather because I haven't really had it yet. I am now in Morocco. It's really, really warm right now. Which I mean, I was looking forward to, but I'm, I'm in the hoodie and sweatpants, so I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of boiling right now. But I'm ready to go out. This is um, pretty cool. I um, was looking out the window, and all you can see was desert. There's some trees that they're growing here, and oh, it's it's. <laughs> Pretty cool, pretty cool. So I'm excited to go into, into the city. Okay, so I'm on the bus now to Marrakech. Um, took my hoodie off, because it is so hot right now. And on this bus, it is so hot, there's no air conditioning. Um, but I'm on my way to the city now. Um, the guys who gave me the bus ticket, they said the I think it could be used for a round trip as well, so next trip's free, so that's cool. Um, and I still have my, my sweatpants on, so I'm really dying a little bit, but <laughs> I'm looking forward to a good day. This, this looks like it's going to be fun today. So I am in Marrakesh now. I'm gonna go to my hostel to drop off my stuff and then I'm gonna go around the city. Pretty cool place. I, I've never been to I've never been to Africa before, so um, this is definitely a different experience for me. So it should be fun, I hope. <laughs> Like, oh, you're very tall, so you gotta be careful. We don't usually have tall people come through here. I'm like, I'm only 6'1, six, 6'2, six, so. <laughs> but yeah, gotta try and get some food and, um, and uh, go out in the city. Okay, so I am now going out into the city. Um, I'm 
bit hungry, so I'll probably get something to eat. But uh, I'm going out to Gemma uh, Fana, is what the guy called it. Uh, I guess it's a place that everyone needs to see when you're out in Morocco or in Marrakesh. So uh, that's what I'm going to go see. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to do today. There's a um, memorial area. I, f I forget what it is. It's some sort of cemetery site, but it's very famous and popular. So I might go see that. It's on my way to Dima F now. So, um, see what I do. Uh, I'm still looking around the place, seeing what there is to, to do for today, but tomorrow is going to be full. So, so I just got some food. There's, there's a few bees trying to eat it. <laughs> um, just got some food, uh, got a sandwich and some fries, and um, then I'm gonna go back into the city. I was really hungry, but this looks good. Um, got a vegetarian sandwich, and um, yeah, I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna go see what else I can see. So I just finished eating, I swear. <laughs> When, whenever you go to the the um, countries that aren't as well off, like they got, um, th there's poverty around, you know? Um, those are normally almost always the nicest people you'll ever meet, anyone from those countries. I mean, I just got lunch here and uh, I didn't have, I, I, I didn't have enough, um, of their currency. All they do is um, cash. They don't really do card here. And I didn't have enough. And the guy said, oh, that's okay. Just, um, I, I owed like 12. I was only able to give 10. And I was like, yeah, that's okay. No worries, that's enough. I'm like, Are you sure? I'm like, yeah, of course, on me. Like, wow, awesome, okay. I mean, I feel bad, but <laughs> these people here are very, very nice, very welcoming. Uh, so far, the entire time I've been here, I, I, I've I felt welcome, so very nice here.
are cool and all, but not with the pull on chains like that put out for our exploitation. That's not that's not really cool. We got them chained up around the necks. Oh, the rest of the city though has been really awesome. The people are really friendly. There's a lot of people who try and get a good penny out of you, um, but. It's really, really nice in Madagascar. I like it a lot here. Uh, tomorrow, I'm looking forward to that. It's it's about 6:30 right now. Sun doesn't set for another 30, 45 minutes. So I think I'm gonna head back around now. I don't want to walk around at night very much. But um, yeah, I had a good day. I saw a lot. Got to do a lot. So I'm happy. I'm really excited for tomorrow. I start the morning with the four-wheeling through the desert, and then I'm uh, riding cam camels uh, later in the day. So that should be good. So okay, so I got some ice cream. I should probably be more conservative with my money, especially since I can't use a card over here. But I really want ice cream. It's a warm day. I mean, it's not warm right now, but I'll take it. I mean, it looks really good, and it's only dollar fifty. So, thank you. All right, so I'm about back to where I'm staying. Um, I was going to try and see if there was like some sort of nightlife here in Marrakesh, but um, I couldn't find anyone that I trusted enough to um, tell me without having me pay for the information. So um, I'm just gonna go back to my hostel, like I already said, and. Um, um, yeah, I'll, I'll just, I'm waking up tomorrow at 9 for that ATV thing, so that should be fun. And they come to pick you up, so that's cool. Um, you don't have to go to them, they come to you. So, all the stuff here is very for you, less for them. It's really nice here. The people are very great. Okay, so right now I'm on my way to the um, ATV. <clears throat> oh, uh, pretty excited for this. Um, it's about 20 minutes away, so it's not far. We're going to be doing it for about three hours through the desert and through some sort of like palm oasis sort of thing. I don't know. Um, but it sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm, a lot, I'm really excited. So, um, sounds like today's going to be a good day. Alright, so I'm about to go on the um, ATVs. You probably can't hear me very well, but um, if you can, awesome. <laughs> I'm excited for this. This is going to be a lot of fun.
just took a break. We're going back out now to explore. We just stopped for some some tea, Moroccan tea, and some pita bread. Sorry, my, I've got helmet hair. Uh, now we're back on our way out into the desert uh, to go around a little bit more. <laughs> Having a good time. Okay, so I'm filthy. Um, <laughs> we just got done with the uh, ATVs. That was awesome. Um, and now we're about to head back. I don't know if I should take a shower now or later because I still have to come out here to the desert to ride some camels. So um, I'm gonna get dirty again. So I don't know if I wait. My hoodie is filthy. Um, I don't know what to do. I, I'm definitely gonna go back to my hostel though and. You know, I probably will take a shower because I'm pretty gross. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but that, that was awesome. I've never ATV'd in the desert before, so that was cool. Okay, I just got back to Djemaevsna and uh, now I'm going back into Kazba so that I can go back to my hostel. I need to wash up a little bit. Uh, gonna waterboard my nose because I just have sand all up it. And uh, then uh, I'll go out, do my camel stuff. I'm so excited for that. That's going to be so cool. It's getting a little bit hotter. Um, not really hot, but uh, it's warm. Um, I am in a hoodie and I'm not like overheating in it, so... <gasps> Excuse me. It's alright. Um, yeah, for now, I'm just going to go wash up and uh, check any of my messages because I know that these guys are going to message me saying that they're going to pick me up at a certain location, so I need to go see where they're going to do that. So, yeah, that's the plans for now. Okay, so I've been here for about 15 minutes. My ride was supposed to get here 15 minutes ago. And um, some guy pulled up, uh, another person doing camel tours. He was saying how uh, I wasn't on his list. I was like, well, surely I am. I was told to meet up here. You must be the person. Well, apparently the person is running 25 minutes late. He called them for me because I'm not able to call him. So, um, yeah, he called them. They were in 25 minutes late, so I guess I didn't miss my ride, thankfully, but um, yeah, I, I, thought, I thought I'd lost it for a second. So, yeah, I gotta wait here another 10 minutes um, while they come and show up.
this is my guy, Jamal. I named him. We're gonna ride off into the sunset. I'm ready. He's low-key kind of scaring me. I, I almost fell off um, at least four times, uh, but who's counting? Yeah. On a camel right now. If it does it. Oh, Jamal and I are having a good time. I, I've got like something in my leg over here. The seat, very comfortable at all. But um, I'm working with them. I'm trying to get them to adjust it, but they don't understand me very well. So um, <laughs> I've just got to deal with it for this whole uh, ride. Jamal li loves this guy. He's got um, he's got some of his uh, well, whatever that grossness is on him. <laughs> Pretty gross. Pretty gross, Jamal. You know, Jamal and I go way back. Uh, back in the, um, the, uh, the, the, the ancient times, you know. We actually, we built the pyramids together. Um, for those of you wondering how they were built, uh, that's how. It was Jamal and I. Um, we won't tell you our secret, but we did it. And that's all you need to know, really. Okay, so I just got done with all of that. Wow, that has to be one of the best nights I've had in a long time. Best nights, best days. That was incredible. Such a fun, fun, fun day. Oh my goodness. It was just full, it was full of fun, laughter. It was great. Oh my goodness, I need to do that again. Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't know what else to say. The people here are very nice, they're very welcoming. We all had a great time um, doing the uh, camels, doing the uh, fire show, doing the, um, what else, did, what was the other thing we did? Oh, the ATVs earlier today, everything. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I'm gonna sleep all night. <laughs> I'm wicked tired, so I know that I'm gonna hit my bed and fall asleep right away, so. Um, I don't know what else to say other than I had a great day and I can't wait for tomorrow. <laughs> but uh, yeah, for now I'm gonna sign off and um, tomorrow's a new day. I'm gonna be here for most of the day and uh, 
in the evening I go back or not go back I am flying to Sweden so that should be fun I haven't been to Sweden so yeah I'll see everyone tomorrow uh, for a bit in Morocco and then later in Sweden bye bye okay so I just got out of the shower <laughs> And uh, now I'm eating breakfast. They do really good at their breakfast here. Um, <clears throat> we gotta do a slow day today because I don't wanna um, miss the airport. Um, so I'm gonna go out into the city. I think I wanna go to the, um, there's like a, like a tomb place or of some sort just by my hostel. So I wanna go to that. Um, there's like a, a, a more modern part of the city that I wasn't aware about that someone told me about yesterday, so I'm gonna see if I can go to that, if I can find it. It's not on the map, so um, I'll just have to ask for directions. And uh, yeah, that's honestly about it. about it. I was thinking about going to the falls, the waterfalls they've got in the area, but um, I was gonna be cutting it really close to getting to the airport, so I didn't wanna risk it. So I'm just doing this today, and uh, I'm okay with that. So um, yeah, right now I'm gonna eat breakfast and then go out. Okay, so I'm out in Jema Efna and uh, I just got a postcard and a magnet. Magnet for me, postcard for mom. And uh, now I'm gonna go to, I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's either the Sadian tombs or the Sadian tombs. Um, I'm gonna go there now. Well, first I'm gonna drop these back off at my hostel. Then I'm gonna go to the tombs. They're only a five minute walk, not even really. So, um, yeah, then after the tombs, uh, just go back into Demerfina. It's a really cool part of the city, so might as well just go back into it, you know? <laughs> okay, so I was going to do the uh, Sadian tombs, but um, online it's 60 that I'm, where in person it's 70. I only have 60. And 60 dirham in USD is about six dollars. You just kind of gotta move a decimal point. So, um, yeah, I guess I'm not doing that because I, I can't find any ATMs. And all the ones that I can find, uh, they've got a pretty high exchange rate to them that they charge. So. I'm not gonna do that, even for a dollar. Well, you know, okay, it's for a dollar. I, I probably will if it's just for a dollar. You know what, I'll probably go do that. <laughs> but um, for now, I'm just walking back into the center uh, to be able to find uh, anything, even if that's an ATM to get some money. And um, yeah, that's, that's what I'm doing right now. I, it's really hot right now. I don't know how much I wanna be in the sun. I might go and try and find some uh, shade. But, um, uh, yeah, but besides that, I've got not a lot that I'm doing today before I go to the airport. So I also got to check with this bus to just make sure that I do get my uh, bus ticket that I got from the airport before. But it is a round trip. They told me at the airport that it was, but I just want to make sure just in case so that because I don't have really any Dharam left. Um, I just want to make sure that it does do round trip just in case I run out. So that way I'm not late to the airport. <laughs> Alright, so I just figured out bus number 19 goes back to the airport. So that's what I'm going to be taking when I go back. Now I don't have to worry about that and I can figure out something else to do now. I'm really lost for what to do because the, uh, the, the new part of the city pretty far away so um, I don't know how far I want to walk today with how hot it is but uh, we'll see I'll figure something out all right so I decided just to go back to the uh, hostel because it is wicked hot out here and I'm sitting in the park over here and I'm still roasting even while I'm the shade <laughs> So, I mean, that's what I get for coming to a country in Africa. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna head back to the hostel, um, come back out in about hour, hour and a half to go to the airport, 
And uh, yeah, then I'll be on my way to Sweden. Okay, so I'm all packed up. I'm now on my way to uh, the nearest bus stop to get to uh, the airport. I've got about uh, 50 more that I am. I think that's how you say it. To spend, so I'm just gonna go to a local spot and spend it all, give it to someone who needs it. And um, then I'll be on my way there. Alright, so I'm at the airport now. I'm about to go through security and um, get on my way to Stockholm. Alright, so I'm boarding right now. Uh, apparently, the flight is five hours long. I didn't realize that. So this should be a long one. I mean, that's that's uh, half of my flight to Europe. That was my layover to get here. So this is gonna be a while. This isn't gonna be a pleasant flight, but uh, hopefully I land soon and maybe we'll cut some time. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I'll see everyone in Sweden. After a long five hours, I finally landed in Sweden. I'm gonna call it a night, honestly, because uh, I'm, I'm sitting in the airport, I'm not going out. Um, and uh, I'll see you everyone in Stockholm tomorrow. See you all there.